fighting with feathers and lots of them, a spooktacular expansion, and pumpkins for our more accountable residents. Find out what, when, and where coming up now on Irvine Today. Today's episode covers through October 5th. Who knows how to pick out stories for children better than a children's librarian? If you're three to six years old, bring your family for a night out at the library. Get comfy on the floor and the librarian will read stories to you and your family. Your parents will have to sit quietly in the chairs though. Family story time starts at 7 p.m. at Irvine Heritage Park Library and ends at 7.30. Get free help with your homework from three to five at University Park Library with help which stands for helping everyone learn. Don't tell them they're missing a P word. University high school students are offering to help anyone and everyone with homework for any grade level up through high school. No registration is required to go see the helping everyone learn people. Now that works. This is the last Tuesday of the month, which is significant if you'd like to participate in the Katie Wheeler Book Group from 10.30 to noon. The monthly meeting takes place in the community room where the group will discuss the novel, What It Is Like to Go to War. In it, author Carl Marlante discusses the daily struggles that soldiers face in war, deciding which lives could be spared or should be taken. The novel is available to be checked out at your convenience. You want to be in the World Book of Records? You could join the Associated Students at UCI at 11 a.m. and attempt to gain the record for the world's largest pillow fight. The current record is held by Dada Life and stands at 3,813. As a part of the festivities for UCI's Welcome Week, the Associated Students of UCI is hoping that 4,000 anteaters will clinch the new record on the Anteater Recreation Center fields. For more information, go online. And today is a great day to attend the All Media 2014 exhibition at the Irvine Fine Arts Center anytime between 10 a.m. and 9 p.m. This exhibition features painting, drawing, sculpture, photography, printmaking, book arts, ceramics, digital media, and more, pretty much all media. The exhibition runs through November 1st. For more information, go online. Or you can also create your own art at the Great Parks Artist Studios. You must register online to join the four-week class where you will design a clay work of art incorporating hand building and sculptural techniques. You'll learn to use slabs, coils, stamps, textures, press molds, and more. Go to ocgp.org to learn more about art with clay. You gotta get a pumpkin from somewhere. Show some gumption this year and pick your own at the largest pick your own pumpkin patch in Irvine, Tanaka Farms. Gates open at nine and you can traverse the hay maze, stop in the petting zoo and take a wagon ride around the fully functional 30 acre farm. Check out the website for pricing and hours of operation. Everybody's heard of downward dog, but what about downward puppy or child's pose? Yoga was made for the young ones and parents can join too at Parent and Me Yoga from 9.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. on the balloon lawn outside the Visitor Center Pavilion at the Orange County Great Park. Kids and parents will work together learning how to use their bodies and minds in fun and different ways. The cost for the six-week series is $72. Register online. Jay Moore will be performing in Irvine tonight at 8 and 10 p.m. at the Improv. While Jay Moore's uber successful career includes ongoing gigs on Saturday Night Live, sitcoms, radio and television, and the big screen, his true love is stand-up. Comedy Central named Moore one of the 100 greatest stand-up comics of all time. His unique brand of performance incorporates no notes and no two shows are the same. Plus, he never picks on the audience. Check out the Irvine Improv site for additional show times and ticket prices. Demand and supply say one spooktacular Saturday is not enough. So this year there are four of them at the Orange County Great Park. Every Saturday in October from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. starting this week, you can come for family fun and entertainment, including kids crafts, petty zoo, carnival games, and gourmet food trucks. And are you ready for this? 
Each child that brings a bag of canned goods or non-perishable food items to benefit local Orange County food banks will have access to the free pumpkin patch and trick-or-treat town while supplies last. You must register online for this event, go online for the details, and to register. Irvine art lovers can wander a timely exhibition at the Great Park Artist Studios at the Palm Court Arts Complex. Bewitching examines the art of costume culture with a brief history of Halloween in Southern California. Come see an eclectic collection of handmade costume couture, fashion illustrations from design legends of classic Hollywood, and view a collection of historic photographs documenting Halloween in Southern California. Admission is free, and the exhibition will be open to attendees of the Spooktacular Saturdays from 9 to 1, and then open to everybody else from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Check online for additional hours of operation. And this Sunday, much like every other Sunday for the past several years, the Great Park Certified Farmers Market will be providing Irvine residents with fresh fruits and vegetables, many of which are grown right here in the park. Come anytime between 10 and 2 p.m. to pick out your favorites as well as a variety of artisan goods. Lunch will be available thanks to the small fleet of gourmet food trucks waiting on site to serve you. Thanks for watching. I'm Dave Eyrig, bringing you what you want to know and where you want to go in Irvine today. Now, go tell your neighbors.